It's week two of the National Football League, and the spotlight is on these Chiefs' speedy running back. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three-touchdown game. It's the Chiefs and the Chargers on Thursday night. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Tonight, we're on to week two in the NFL season as we've got a good one here between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him. Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Here comes the Kansas City offense. And in his sixth season of conducting this high-powered attack, coming off four straight Pro Bowls, it's Patrick Mahomes. And he comes off an incredible performance in the opener. Five touchdown passes. Now look, you always want to start strong. But I think that's more than anyone, including himself, could have expected. They'll run with the third-year man, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, to about the 23. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL. And Clyde Edwards-Alaire, with that low center of gravity and strength, he's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. A Charger offense makes its way out for the first time in this ball game and leading the way, already a star in just his third season, it's Justin Herbert. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10 at their 35 yard line to about the 40-yard line. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 20 carries, 97 yards. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. Eckler going to get it again on second down. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Brought down by Willie Gay. The Chargers at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And this would be quite a start for them if they could win two straight on the road. Yeah, the schedule makers didn't do them any favors. They gave them two road games right out of the gate. But the thinking on the team has to be, imagine if we win these two games. What a setup for the rest of the season for us. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Man open left side. It's Williams. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. Nice mix-up on the play call. And right, establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come at them. 
Running on first down, Eckler. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. This defense for the Chiefs, terrific last week in the season opening victory. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. Second and nine, Herbert. He's got a man, that's Keenan Allen. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Herbert jet sweep as he taps it forward. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Now it's second and nine. with it looking to pass. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Charles Thursday night game. I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a football. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Justin Herbert. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week, another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7 nothing. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Well, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Now, they were winners in the season opener Sunday. Now they get the quick turnaround game here on Thursday night. But, CD, you no, no. say this is an ideal setup for them. Why? Well, it's just the way the schedule lines up because everyone's got to play a Thursday game, and that's because of competitive balance. Oh, it tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it was a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be able to touchdown. 
A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Chargers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into, you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally as important when you have the short turnaround, what is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL. Second quarter for Merrillhead. It's the Chiefs in possession. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Rolling to his right. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he'll be brought down at the 27. That's a good looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? And he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one a first down pickup of eight. Keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On second down, here's Fournette. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Edward Jolaire. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. So his great start to the season continues. He found the end zone time after time in the opener last week. And he does it again here in week two. But Brandon, we have a lot of coaches sell us week to week that there is no momentum, there is no carryover. Every game is its own entity. But after what we saw him do last week and now punching one in here, I'm starting to think that there is a carryover that he's feeling it. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. 
Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them, but I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And the defense closes quickly there. And they get maybe a yard to the 33. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly when the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the plays we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. Now on second and 13, Herbert. On the slant, he's got Davis. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. That was a nicely run slant around. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Back to throw here, Herbert. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Here's Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick, and the Chiefs are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. As we all know, Kansas City loves speed in the wide receiver position. And Marquez valdez Gantling, he's averaged over 17 yards per catch for his four-year career, and he runs a 4-3-7-40. But Patrick Mahomes is a quarterback. Expect that speed to translate into big shots downfield. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Mahomes now on first down. That's complete downfield to James. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Mahomes now on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes to throw once more. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up four. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Legereus Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering, and now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. Well, still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. shot before the break for Herbert into the hands of Williams across the formation and he's brought down getting this one up to about the 35 sorry coach put a pin in that we are going to move right on to the third quarter here and we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Chargers to take over. They were winners last week defeating the Raiders. And right now they're in the driver's seat here as they start off first and ten. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Oh, he shifts past him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. On second and nine, Herbert. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 37. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. He finds his target, Allen. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Out of the gun, Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of 5. Eckler will take this into the end zone for a Charger touchdown. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Now the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So the drive there took six plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10, and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he fires one that's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. So first and 10 now from the 30. Eckler now between the tackles, down at the 25. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On first down, Justin Herbert, his throw caught right around the six. And the Chargers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Herbert. And it's caught. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Okay, 
From the two now, second and goal. Herbert now. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown, Chargers! A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Chargers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 15 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Caught it to 26. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. And this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last time out on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now Mahomes. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. Only a yard that time, second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here can really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. And he will get in. Across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Justin Herbert with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Chargers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. They have the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That's good for a Kansas City Chiefs. Now here's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez Scantling. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. On first down, Mahomes. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Derwin James with a pick. And the 
Chargers force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 83 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. We're back now in KC. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. But with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Play action. It's Herbert. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers are on their way to a 2-0 start. So, Charles, they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. Now, last week, they had the close victory. This one more commanding, much more comfortable. Well, the sense we got from them was that last week, they felt like they didn't play their best. They got the win, but they weren't really on top of their game. But they put it all together here in this one, haven't they? What an impressive, impressive performance. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. With this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 23.
21 yards. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he's got it. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns him there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think it might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets him. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. 114 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Herbert takes it and just pops it forward. And he will pick up the first down as he is out of bounds. And on that, we will reach the two-minute warning. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. 
Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw again on second down. Herbert. Again, it's Johnson. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Touchdown! A great play there with his second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. One final try for Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan. They all scout. They all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So, for the Chargers, it's a dream start. Two wins in two early road games. And they'll get a few days to savor this one before they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one. and they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. Thank mm -hmm. you.